Hi everybody, uh, Will Toronto here uh, with Armored Warfare League as you know me from. Um, now I'm uh, testing, alpha testing a brand new game uh, that's just been put out by my.com. It is called Cloud Pirates and I've just loaded up the game for the, well not for the first time because I've got two accounts. I've got a press account and my own personal account. So this is the first screen that comes up once you've loaded it. It's a flying pirate ship sort of game. Uh, people compared it to Dreadnought and I can't remember the other game people have um, compared it to. Alright, so I'm going to pick, uh, so first off I'm going to pick the server, alpha server, right here and click enter the selected server. Loaded game, I don't have a name since this is the first time I'm logging in on this account. Alright, and I'm just going to walk you through the UI and everything. Alright, so I'm going to pick Will Toronto. I hope it lets me keep that. We want it in English. Yep. Yep. And it's created. All right. So here's what we got going on, everybody. Oh, it made the T a lowercase up there. All right. So there's my avatar up there. That's automatic. I don't know how to change it. To add friends, you just go right here. Click on add friends. I'm just going to go around the UI and show everybody what's going on. So I'll click there, add a friend. I know my friend Draconis. is playing so I will add him all right and when he accepts uh, it will come it'll pop up all right oh I'm not gonna add another player right now so just click on there and it minimizes all right down here is your chat your chat functions all right your different fonts the size of the chat all that stuff system messages and general messages all right I can tap type my other I'm so pro yep yeah. all right so there's the chat that's in general chat to everybody all right you can minimize that right there and except I'm not spelling very well all right so I'll just switch move around the bay view guys this is they call it a bay and instead of like the garage or something so that looks pretty cool right all right so um, next thing so I did cover the chat this is your filter so you can filter your ships that will all line up down here at the bottom so you just go there and you filter it light, medium, assault, uh, by tier, and that stuff, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. All right, so you get three ships to start with, all tier one. I'm going to come back to those guys, all right, in a second. Uh, this, because it's on alpha, you can, I don't know if they'll have this in the regular, because you just, can, you can report an error here. So if something happens, just type in here, report what happened, and press send, okay? Uh, these are daily missions. All right, you can X them out. Abandon quest. Uh, so you just you know read that, and you can get those daily missions. You can open it and close it right here. All right. So that's what you have to do for the daily missions. All right. Up here um, is game settings. So you can change server. I'm not going to hit that. It just well, I'll hit it. All right. It brings up the list of the servers again. Blah blah blah, and you just switch the server okay I really like this option uh, as opposed to armored warfare where you're stuck on one server alright I go back whoops that took me out of the game guys uh, you gotta be careful with that button I remember it did it to me before I'm coming right back in I'm not gonna restart the video just bear with me for a second um, and it's coming right back in and yeah um, if you have any questions while this is reloading or comments, just leave them below and I'll be more than happy to get the answers for you if I don't know them. I've been playing this game now for three days um, on a different account. I've got a press account. 
Okay. Uh, oh, it automatically brought up this ship. Okay, so you can see a ship right away. I hadn't picked one at first. All right. So, um, like I said, this is a brand new, fresh account. So this is how you set everything up. Okay. So let's go back up here to settings. So that was how to change servers. Then your regular game settings, your graphics settings, they're all right here. It's all pretty standard. You know, I've, I I have everything on maximum. I've got a 980 card, so it just depends on your card and how well it is. You know, additional video settings. This is all standard stuff, right? Your audio settings. I've got the environmental volume turned down, the, the crew sounds. I've got, I don't like the music playing. Um, so, um, the game settings. All right, all that stuff's pretty straightforward. If you hover over, if you hover, hover, uh, hover over stuff, it explains what stuff is. All right, and some hotkeys. All right, so you can map stuff out differently if you need it. All right, all right there. So that's that's there, and we want to go back to game. All right, so we covered there, covered there. The, up here is your gold, your ship's experience, and available experience. So that's like your free XP sort of thing. Okay. Um, we're going to start the tutorial. Oh, well, I'll, qu I'll quickly show it. So click on this. This is the bay. This is what this is, where your ships are, like I said, like your garage. Research each ship right here. I'll go over that in a second. And development. It's your tiers and your class. And you've got two different dealers. So you've got two different dealer trees right here. All right. And all the ships that are available. All right. And right now, this game only goes up to tier three for this alpha test. All right. I'm going to start the tutorial just to show you guys how it's done. All right, so this is going into battle tutorial screen. All right, there's tips on the bottom right. Self-guided missiles pursue the target. However, they have a limited flight time and maneuvering capability. All right, just, you know, normal tips. All right. One thing. All right, welcome to the tutorial. Here you will learn about the game basics and interface. Press escape to continue. Escape. All right. Ship holder is located above it. Press escape to continue. Here you can, the shields. See the shields and the blue guys on the left hand side? Alright. Escape to continue. W A S D to move, so I'm pressing W to move forward. I'm just gonna go through these really fast. S to move backwards. See the backward speed there in the bottom left in the red, red arrow. Alright, escape. Whoops. Continue. Um, D D for right. A for left. Space to go up in altitude. Escape to skip. What's it? All right. You see, on the left side, it says I'm level. All right. Shift to descend. Excellent. Now you can see the ship's location on the mini map, which appeared on the right corner. See the mini map down there, guys? All right. Fly to the beacon. There's the beacon right there. And you can see the ships look pretty cool, guys. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to fly through the beacon. Now let's try the cannons. All right. Where is the cannons going to be? Okay. Rotate the camera with the mouse, place the aiming target in front of the ship, and click fire the mouse button. Like that. See that? Broadside cannons, right there. See that? Alright. Yellow lines is the overheat indicator. Alright. So the cannons really overheat the, in this game, guys. you got to pay attention for that. All right, all right. Fire until they overheat, and you can see the overheat on the right-hand side there, guys. And it's overheated. All right, you got to wait till they cool down, and once they cool down, your switch is not and. Shit's move is increased significantly. All right. 
So, approach the turret within. Destroy the turret. I'm watching so I don't overheat. You can see his health bar at the top there. There, blew it up. Alright, see my shield on the left hand side was destroyed. I'm also on fire. Alright, so you can use a boost. See number one? So I hit the number one and boost. I probably went the wrong way. Okay, I've got to fly to the mark spot now. And come around. I'm still on fire. I want to try and aim. Okay, my cooldown's up on my speed boost. Okay. Flying to the mark spot. Alright. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Okay, I'm getting closer to him. That means I'm in range. See how the red numbers are going down? There, I'm in range. There's a little bar above his health bar. That's his shield strength. Boom! Got him. Okay. Destroyed the enemy ship. Now what? Okay, capture the station. So I'm just sitting here capping it out. That's all standard, guys. Just like, you know, a lot of other games. Okay, now ready for real battle. That's it for the training. Let's press escape. Continue. Victory. Finish battle. Yay. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna, just going to close that. See if Draconis accepted my friend request. No. Okay. So, what I've covered that experience, play with bots or play with people, create group like a platoon or, yeah, a platoon right here and just add people. You can have three people uh, to that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is show you ships. And like I said, the best ship to take uh, currently is the um the gale class all right so click on research and you can research these points i've got 3000 free xp right now i can use all right so this is a dimensional leap that's the leap that uh shoots you forward 75 yards all right that's right here that's going to be in slot one i want to research shield repair and I'm going to buy it. And that goes in automatically number two. All right. I'm going to research torpedoes because on this ship, they're really good. Remember, guys, I've got a two accounts and I've been playing. I've got tier threes on the other account. All right. So I know right now, currently, you want to take the Gale class first and go up that line. All right. I'm going to mount that. And that's going to go number three. See, and I can take these out and uninstall it and move it around in my one two three button the ability all right or just click and it's back there installed and you can put them in any order obviously and there's more things you can upgrade and uh, that i don't i'm not going to use all my free xp uh this time okay so that's my weapon systems here is the equipment all right i can upgrade hulls to reinforce mark two mark one i'm going to do that and click there all right I'm going to buy it, install it. All right, here's for uh, shield recovery. This is for shield recovery, these here. Uh, this is for better helm, better steering, and better engines. All right, so that's what those are to upgrade those. Over here is the three different ships I can go to upgrade once I get enough points. All right, I am going to get the hurricane next. So that's the line I'm going up. So I still need 8,000 more experience. All right, you can see that right there, 8,000 more experience roughly, give or take a little bit. Um, 
so that's that so next thing you do you're all set you're ready to go just click back to bay and hit battle I'm now in queue in battle uh, for battle and I'm just gonna play one quick battle for you and then show you the upgrades afterwards um, and that'll be it for this video so like I said if you have any questions while you're waiting for me to go to battle just type down below in the um, in the YouTube you know comment section we'll try and get back to you on any um, any questions you might have um, like I said uh, my first impressions of this game are it's very good um, it, it's simple simple but fun um, like I said, I, I, I've been playing, I probably got mm, 12 hours into it now in the last three days since the alpha started, two days, three days. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of fun, guys. It's a good distraction. Um, the only thing, I, I'm not too keen about it because, you know, it's 2016. These guys, they, they're still like these grind games, you know, like you have to grind up tiers. And, and I know the younger generations, they like the MOBAs, you know, like everything available right away. All right, um, so here's a tutorial up on the right. This is a death mode match, so let's just go for points. Like I said, I played this ship class before. I know it's a very good class. I've got my speed boost in number one, which I just hit. And you can see it jumped me forward. Um, number two is my shield repair. Number three is my torpedoes. Here comes the enemy in range. I'm gonna torpedo this guy. See so my torpedoes going on him. Boom, boom, boom. I hit him with a volley. He's dead. I helped. I got the assist on that. Oh, I gotta fix my shields. All right. Right, right my right shield's destroyed. I gotta jump to get out of there. Boom! I'm gonna hit a rock though. Oh, I just missed the rock. All right. So, see that purple thing? That's enemy um, power boosts. Okay. Ours are green, and they're on the m m mini map. You can see them on the mini map. Also, if you're in a platoon with somebody. It shows up in the mini-map. Alright, my cooldown's over my torpedoes, so I'm going to hit this guy. Boop, 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 boop. See that? I hit that rock. Oh, you can also do friendly damage in this guy's, and I just did a little bit. So you want to try and avoid friendly damage as much as possible. Make sure the target's highlighted. Alright? You don't do collision damage, though, which is a good thing, because I jump into these rocks. Non-stop, I can fix my shield. My engine damage, I gotta jump. I hope I don't hit that rock. No, I didn't go anywhere. Ah. Boom! I got that guy. I steal killed or kill steal him. Alright. Torpedoes at this guy. See my torpedoes going? It's gonna wreck him. Yep. Oh I got I somebody else got the, the kill. That's alright. Teamwork. Helps kill that guy. This is gonna be a quick game, guys, which is good, so I can show you afterwards um all right let's go get this guy right here torpedoes torpedoes on cooldown help kill him all right my shield is destroyed. oh my shield destroyed hit my shield repair we're just wrecking these guys i don't know if we're playing against bots or humans right now uh, it's a bit of both actually probably that's what most of the games are, because the games aren't filled because it's alpha. Um, Left shield is destroyed. Ah! I gotta raise elevation to get up to get this guy. My cannon, see my cannon heat there in the top center, and on the top right. My image damage. He fixed my shield. Ah! Uh, ah! They killed me first time I died this game. All right, so when you die, guys, um, you can go into spectator mode. You can see the countdown there. It starts at 15 seconds. You can hop around different ships to uh, watch the battles. Uh, you can see the score at the top. I'm about to uh, respawn here. So, all right, I'm back in. So where's all the action? All the action's in the center. So I'm going to jump. Boom. Right here. Come around this rock. Starting to get in range. Oh, look, this guy's up here. He's almost dead. I'm going to raise altitude. Boom. I got to get him.
Oh, he used torpedoes on him. Boom, got him. <laughs> oh, somebody's getting me. I gotta fix my shield. Right shield is destroyed. Right shield is destroyed. I'm in trouble. I got a clear path to jump. Right there. Jump between those rocks. Oh, I hit this, though. See the collision models off there, guys? Uh, um, I'm hitting a rock. I just can't see it. There it is. I couldn't see it. See, like I said, guys, it's alpha. Not everything is working uh, perfect yet. Oh, I didn't get any hits on that guy. All right, death match here. I'm gonna drop altitude. Coming on this guy. Torpedo. Him. There goes my torpedoes. Bam! That's two times I've destroyed this guy. All right. I could hit my shield repair. Alright, and when you're playing with platoons, guys, it's so fun. We were ganging up on people, ganking them, as we used to say in Warcraft. It was so, so fun. Uh, it's, it's just a different game than, you know, World of Tanks or Armored Warfare. You know, it, it's similar to a degree, but because the action's so tight, you're in and around each other. You know, it's not even like World of Warships. You know, I, I guess it's like World of Warplanes and, you know, a few of those games all combined. Um, we've almost won this. Alright, I gotta fix my shield. Wow. So after this game, I'll just show you the upgrades a little bit again, and that'll be it. For the video, we're gonna win here any second. I'm gonna drop an altitude, try and kill this guy. Get a kill in. Oh, somebody else got him. Oh, there goes my torpedoes. Bam, victory. All right, so I got, uh, you know, 16, 17,000 gold. I got a bunch of ship experience. Finished battle. Take me back to this screen. Um, that was the map I was on. 619, it was a death match. Damage dealt, restored damage, support, achievement points, how many I killed, how many I assisted or helped kill, mode points zero, all the different achievements I've got, you know, that you know they've got all these little achievements here. Uh, team statistics. So I was second on a team for damage. I was only two human players, three human players it looks like, and the rest were bots. And on the other team, there was three human players as well. Um, all right, and yeah, the damage and everything I did there. All right, so that's all straightforward. Close that. Now, you can automatically repair your ship. Just hit there and then click repair, and it'll be automatically repaired after every battle. All right, since I played this ship, now I can click research. I've got some more free XP and ship experience, okay? Click on there, and I've got equipment upgrade. I like doing the shield recovery guys before uh, other than on this class once I get the torpedoes I'm good all right because the torpedoes really mess people up in this equipment repair you want shield repair you want that you know as quick as you can so I've got the second I can't afford to get the uh, top shield repair so I got that all right uh, weapons I can't afford any more. See how it's red now? I got no more experience. I've got no more free experience. And I've only got 431 ship experience. And all these cost more than 431, even on the equipment. Okay. And see how I'm going up? I need 6,000 more experience uh, to unlock the Hurricane, because that's the, definitely the best ship to go up currently uh, in the lines right now. All right. So that's it for the video, guys. That's the basic UI run through. That's my general first impressions. Uh, of the game like I said it's a lot of fun I am enjoying the game I recommend it if you get a code or you manage to get in sign up for the beta uh, it's well worth it it's uh, time's just flying by I've just played three hours tonight and didn't even notice it so that's it like I said if you have any questions or comments leave them below follow us on our twitch channel uh, follow us on Twitter so that's it Will Toronto from Armored Warfare Leagues playing Cloud Pirates from my.com Thanks, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.